In this video, we will study quality circle and we know that quality circle is a topic which comes in management and this has been widely uh, taught and discussed in management uh, means discipline and this is equally important for those students who are uh, studying entrepreneurship in different courses. So let me now focus on quality circle in a detailed way. And let us see the definition of quality first. Uh, we know what is meant by quality because we uh, means often talk about the quality improvement or the quality of persons. Uh, so this uh, is a word which uh, which which often comes in our uh, means uh, general talks, and even in certain uh, means organizational setup, we generally think of the quality of the people and how can the quality uh, get improved so what is meant by the quality after all and we know that quality is a uh, is a measure of the achievement of an organization in terms of customer satisfaction so it is in the case of an organization or a company so a company or a factory or a shop let it be a shop the basic aim of that shop or a company is to uh, satisfy the customer uh, who uses the company's product or the company's services. Therefore, quality is a measure of the achievement of an organization in terms of the customer satisfaction. So if the organization is able to satisfy the customer or of, if an organization is capable of functioning uh, to the satisfaction or to the extent of the satisfaction of the customer, then you can say that the company has quality. Uh, likewise, if you take the case of a product, then if product satisfies us, then uh, it can be said to have the required quality. Suppose that you are driving a car and they, if you feel very comfort while driving the car, uh, then you can say that the car, car is of good quality because uh, as a passenger or as a driver, the car actually suits to your requirements. So in that way, uh, quality is something, uh, the ability, it's a measure of the achievement of an organization or a product or a service uh, in terms of uh, the customer satisfaction. It means everything that an organization does in the eyes of the customers. And it is excellence that is better than a minimum standard. So it is not a, something minimum. It is more than the minimum standard or it is something akin to that of excellence. And let us look at some of the important definitions of the concept of quality. I think the second uh, means definition uh, uh, is uh, something very interesting because it says that quality is nothing but it is fitness for purpose. That means if, uh, if you are fit for a particular purpose, then you are a person of good quality. That's the meaning. So it is fitness for the purpose. Suppose that you have purchased a washing machine, then if washing machine is fit for washing the clothes, uh, means uh, taking the uh, possibly minimum time and minimum uh, means power, then you can say that the washing machine is of good quality because that has served the purpose. So the first thing uh, or the, the, the most attractive definition of quality Maybe this, the quality is nothing but it is the fitness for the purpose. Or it can be called the degree of excellence, or the, it can be the total features and characteristics that bear on the ability of a product or service to satisfy a given need. And that definition we have already uh, means discussed. And it may be a total composite product and service characteristics of marketing, engineering, manufacturing, and maintenance through which the product and service will meet the expectation of the customer. So all these definitions, actually, they emphasize the ability of the product or the company or the service to meet the requirements of the consumer or to, or to satisfy the con consumer. So a quality product is something which satisfies the requirements of the consumer or a quality organization is something which satisfies the requirements of the people who come to the uh, organization for different necessities so simply meaning uh, it is the fitness for the purpose so if i mean a, a quality person means a person fit for a particular purpose so for example take the case of a teacher when can you say that a teacher is of good quality a quality teacher is someone who is fit for teaching 
who is able to communicate with others, who knows the content of the subject very well. So that a person can be called a, a quality teacher. So like that. Now, they, these are also some uh, definitions of quality, qualities, fitness for use or purpose. So this, we have discussed this definition, so I am skipping this slide. Moving on to the next one, let us see what are the important features of this quality. One important feature of the quality uh, concept is that it is, it is a multidimensional concept because it encompasses many things. It is related to many things. Uh, it includes organizational goals, it includes human actions. So therefore you can say that it is a multidimensional concept and it is not a static concept. It always undergoes changes. In that case, it's a dynamic concept and it is very user friendly also because this concept we generally use in terms of the satisfaction that the customers and the people derive uh, or people derive from an organization. So therefore it is very much user friendly. So these three are the important characteristics or features of quality that it's a multi-dimensional concept. It's a dynamic process, not a static one. It is more user friendly. Then why do we need quality? What are the necessities of quality? Uh, so of course we can list a number of reasons uh, for, a, uh, for or emphasizing this quality concept. First is that customer satisfaction and happiness, they are very essential. So this uh, might be the one reason uh, why we give more importance to the quality. Second is uh, we know that goodwill of the organization is very important because if there is a goodwill and that shows the image of the organization and this will definitely improve the productivity and uh, the capture in the market. So that for that quality is very important. If your quality is very important, then you will get more market. Then if quality is very important, this will lead to minimization of cost. And if quality is very important, that will definitely help you to have more profit and recognize the role of everyone in organization. Because if, if everyone is of good quality, then, then, then the role of each and everybody will be of great importance as far as the organization is concerned. And the role of everyone in the organization will be recognized. And fixing a common goal for the entire organization and it will emphasize the teamwork among the staff because if if there is the urge for creating quality then everyone will be very 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 conscious about increasing the quality of of the of of people of uh, them that will definitely help the organization so this is also uh, an important uh, reason why we require the quality and establishing performance measures of the employees and for betterment of employees. So these are the reasons why do we need quality. Now we come to the um, it's core aspect of this. So we discussed the quality to come to this point, the quality circle. Uh, actually, quality circle uh, is, a, is a crux of our discussion. That's, a fo that's a, the main point of our discussion. Let's see what is meant by quality circle. Quality circle can be described as a small group. So it's a small group, okay? It's a small group of employees of the same work, of the same work area, doing almost similar work. And what do they is that? They meet regularly, voluntarily to identify, analyze, resolve work-related problems. That means, Quality Circle is a small group of employees meeting together to discuss different things about the work related issues. So they may show you some way to increase the production of the company. They may show you some important new sources of raw materials and they may themselves take some initiatives to increase their own productivity. So quality circle is a small group of employees of a company doing almost the similar work and they join together. They meet together voluntarily and regularly to identify, analyze and resolve work related problems. A quality circle is a volunteer group composed of members who meet to talk about workplace and service improvements and make presentations to their management with their ideas. So they make this advice to the management. They may present these things to the management and they may tell the management 
uh, see these uh, are some of the tips through which you can improve the performance of the company. Uh, please adopt these policies. These are some suggestions from our part. So it is here the, the, the employees suggesting something to the management as to how the uh, company's performance be raised. So quality circle is very, very important for a company because it, it, it is something which, which motivates the people to engage themselves in the management and in the functioning of a company. Normally, small in size, the group is usually led by the supervisor. So there will be a supervisor and he will or she will present the solutions where possible workers implement the solutions themselves in order to improve the performance of an organization and motivate employees. Quality circles were at their most popular during the 1980s, but continue to exist in the form of Kaizen. So this is very important word. Uh, when you discuss quality circle, you cannot forego this word, Kaizen. Kaizen is a Japanese word. It comprises of two words, K and Sen. What is K? K means change. And Sen means for the better. So that means it is for the better. It is change for the better. So here, the quality circle stands for a change for something better. So it it actually existed and still existing in Jap means in Japan uh, and, and this quality circle and you know that some of the management concepts actually developed from the Japan because Japan uh, is a country uh, which actually came back from a very very dangerous and difficult situations so therefore the the, the skill and the dedication that the, that the Japanese people showed and, 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 they, and they worked together to get their country out of the turmoils through which they had passed at the, in the event of the Second World War. So therefore they adopted a lot of things and they have been doing the same thing also. So Kaysen is also a very important management term uh, which has been sufficed from Japan and it means change for the better or continuous improvement. And it's a Japanese business philosophy regarding the processes that continuous improve, improve continuously improve operations and involve uh, that uh, involve that needs the involvement of all employees. Now, uh, typical topics for the attention of quality circles are improving occupational safety and health. So, how to increase occupational safety of the people? Because when they do work in hazardous situations. Uh, some uh, some accidents may come up. So therefore, how to increase the occupational safety of the people, health of the people, and how to improve the product design and improve in the workplace and manufacturing process. All these things uh, actually usually come under the quality circles. So these are important topics over which the members of the quality circle may take up, may, may discuss. Okay. The term quality circles was most accessibly defined by uh, uh, professor uh, means uh, Ishikawa in, in his 1988 handbook, what is total quality control. So we will discuss, we will have a, another video on total quality control. And the Jap uh, then in, in, in that uh, book, actually this uh, Ishikawa actually, she, he de defined that Professor Ishikawa defined the quality circle in a, in, a, in a suitable way. The first company in Japan to introduce quality circle was Nippon Wireless and Telegraph Company far back in 1962. Quality circles are typically more formal groups. They meet regularly on company time and are trained by competent persons uh, who may be personal and industrial relations specialists trained in human factors and the basic skills of problem identification, information gathering, and analysis. Uh, so they do certain general basic statistics and they arrive at certain solutions. And quality circles are generally free to select any topic they wish to talk. So they, can, they, are, they, they are not free to choose any topic they wanted to discuss in the circle. The, this small group with every member of the circle participating to the full carrier, to the full carries on the activities utilizing problem solving techniques to achieve control or improvement in the work. So they discuss uh, means varied things, different things related to the functioning of the company. Quality circle is a practical application of Musk Gregor's theory of why. 
that if given the right environment and decision-making power, people will enjoy and take pride in their work, thus leading to enrichment of their work life. So if you give a good environment for the people to work, if you give the workers a decision-making power, means if, if the workers are given a say in decision-making power, then they will be encouraged to, uh, means to work more and they will take that pride in their work and that will definitely reach uh, or enrich their work life. Theory of facts, so a small discussion uh, means very, very, very short discussion about the theory of facts and theory of why. Theory of facts and theory of why were first explained by Mas Grigor in his book, The Human Side of Enterprise, and they refer to two styles of management. Uh, so uh, actually there are two styles of management. One is authoritarian management, which is known as X. X theory and the other is participatory management that is why so there are two theories of management one is x that is authoritarian uh, that means the the company's manager or company's owner does not give any freedom to the employees so they they uh, means these owners often command everything to the employees employees do not have any right to uh, means right to uh, means uh, give back their suggestions. So, uh, so whatever suggested by the management, they have to follow that. But in the theory of why, a quite different situation exists because it's a participatory management where the where the company uh, ensures that there is the involvement of the of the other people, including workers, in the in the functioning of of, of a company. So there are two important theories of uh, styles of management, theory X and theory Y. But we are very clear that it, it means quality circle uses theory Y because it is based on the participatory management. If you believe that your team members dislike their work and have little motivation, then according to Musgrigar, you will likely use an authoritarian style of management. So if you don't believe dislike, your employees, then you will be using an authoritarian style of management. This approach is very hands-on and usually involves micromanaging the people. So here you will micromanage the people. So you here you will manage each and every aspect of the people. And why do you manage each and every aspect of the people? Because you don't have the faith in the capability of the people. You don't have faith in the working nature of the people. So you fear the people. You do not take the people granted. And because of that, you will micromanage the people and people's work to ensure that it gets done properly. Musgrigar called this theory of X. So here, the theory of X is, uh, means, uh, as managers tended to make very pessimistic view, manager is a pessimistic one. And they think that team members need to be prompted, rewarded, or punished constantly to make sure that they complete their task. So here we are using a characteristic approach. Characteristic approach means sometimes we will pu pu punish them. If they, if they work hard and make good uh, products, good result, then you will, you will give a carrot, you will motivate, you will reward. So both things will come up here. Reward and punishment. That is what is called a carrot and stick approach. And performance appraisals and remuneration are usually based on tangible results such as sales figures or product output and are used to control staff and keep tabs on them. So there will be a strict control of the staffs in the company as far as the theory of X goes. Now let us come to the opposite of theory of facts, that's theory of Y. Here we believe the people, we have full management and the company has full belief in the people. They, be, they believe the people. Uh, they believe in the ability of the people to produce results. So it's a challenge. People take these things as a challenge. So that is a participatory management. Managers who use this approach trust their people and to take ownership of their work and do it effectively by themselves. And Mels Gregor called this theory of five. So here, optimistic view, positive idea. Decentralized, decentralized participatory management style, collaborated, trust-based. That means participation from the from the from the worker is censured here. And we know that today 
most of the management uses a mixture of theory of X and theory of Y. In theory of X, we, could, we will micromanage the people. But theory of Y is a hands-off approach. We never manage the people. We leave everything to, to the people. Let them do what they like. See the result. And let them and let them suggest something to the factory so as to improve the performance of the factory. So it's a hands-off approach. We are giving freedom. We take it for granted that the employees, if given freedom, will work hard and contribute to the factory. Now, see what are the objectives of the quality circle. Uh, so here we have listed some of the objectives. I will read it out. To improve quality, productivity, safety, and cost reduction. To give chance to the employees to use their wisdom and creativity. To increase team spirit, cohesive culture among different levels and sections of the employees. To promote self and mutual development, including leadership quality. To fulfill the self-esteem and motivational needs of employees to improve the quality of work life of employees and to contribute towards the improvement and development of the organization or department to overcome the barriers that may exist within the prevailing organization structure so as to foster an open exchange of ideas to develop a positive attitude and feel a sense of involvement in the decision making process of the services offered to respect humanity and to build a happy workplace worthwhile to work to display human capabilities totally and in a long run to draw out the def infinite possibilities. To improve the quality of the products and services, to improve competitiveness, to reduce cost and redundant efforts in the long run, and with improved efficiency, the lead time on the lead the lead time on convene of information and its subassemblies is reduced, resulting in an improvement in meeting customers' due dates. Customer satisfaction is a fundamental goal of life. So, so, so these things uh, means these are the objectives uh, of, of quality circle. You can list out some of the objectives. I have listed a lot. Of, lot. But now, what are the benefits of quality circles? There are no monetary reward in the quality circle because just because of a group suggesting something to the management, management is not going to reward that group. Just because I suggest something to the management or to the company, the company will not reward me because there is no monetary reward. There is no reward and punishment in quality circle. We, we do it voluntarily. We do it voluntarily, not compulsorily. We do it voluntarily. So therefore, we do not expect anything in return from the government. Or there is no monetary reward in the quality circles. There are many other games. Intangible gains make a money. We may get certain intangible gains, which are the benefit the individual and consider the benefit the business. So we will discuss these intangible gains, which a person is likely to get from the quality control. First is self-development. Quality controls the system of development of members by improving self-confidence, attitudinal change, and a sense of accomplishment. Second, social development. Because you become a part of the society, a group, so quality circle is a consultative and participative program where every member cooperates with others. This interaction assists in developing harmony. Opportunity to attain knowledge. Quality mem circles members have a chance for attaining new knowledge by sharing opinions, thoughts, and experience. Potential leader. Every member gets a chance to build up his leadership potential in view of the fact that any member can become a leader. Enhanced communication skills. The mutual problem solving and presentation before the management assist the members to develop their communication skills. Now, job satisfaction. Quality circles promote creativity by tapping the underdeveloped intellectual skills of an individual. Individuals, in addition, execute activities diverse from regular work, which enhances their self-confidence and gives them huge satisfaction. Healthy work environment. Quality circles create a tension-free atmosphere because the because there is no micromanagement, so it will give it will it will free you of all kinds of tensions, which each individual likes, understands, and cooperates with others. Organizational benefits: the individual benefits creates a synergistic effect, leading to cost effectiveness, reduction in waste, better quality, and high productivity. What are the key features of quality circles? One is people building philosophy. 
So Quality Circle is a homogeneous group. The number of employees in a Quality Circle ranges between 6 to 10, and they generally come from a particular area. It consists of a very small group. So this is a people building philosophy, or it has been constructed on a people building philosophy. Now, it's a voluntary group. There is no coercion on somebody to join the group. You may or may not join the group. It is up to you whether to join or not. No, it's a participatory program. So you must be a member of that. While being a member of that, you must be able to contribute to something. You must give certain suggestions. That's very important in, in quality circle. It's a participatory program. Now, supportive management. Quality circles need the encouragement to grow and nature, mature. Management must be willing to give support, advice, and also some commitment in the beginning. Suppose that management does not support the quality circle. Then quality circles will not exist. If somebody, if if some, if if, if a group of persons join together at a particular place in the company, and if the management does not permit them to have a group and discussion, then the quality circle will not be developed. So management support is very essential for quality circle. If management is against quality circle, then it cannot be materialized. To improve the performance, collective and participative. Efforts must result in the improvement of quality, productivity, performance. Now, enrichment of work life. So if you are a part of the quality circle, it will enrich your work and life. To identify and resolve work-related problems. Definitely, quality circle will help you to identify and resolve work-related problems. Because employees know what, what are their problems. So if they are given a chance to discuss problems, in their own way and find out certain solutions to that, then quality circles are, uh, are very important and they have no substitutes. If you properly uh, means use this quality circle as a tool to enhance the performance of the company, then there is no substitute for that. It's a very, uh, very important and worthwhile program uh, to be implemented and how, uh, and this uh, this is a pro pathway program to have been implemented in many companies. And lastly, the focus is on quality related problems. Here we focus on quality related problems. So with this, we end this presentation on quality. First, we discussed what is quality. Then we have come to the quality circle. And after that, we discussed the importance of quality circle on the basis of theory of X and theory of Y. And we discussed objectives, and finally, we focused on the benefits of quality circles.